We are at Neocon 2013. This is Talk Floor TV. I am in the DuPont stand. We're with John Lyon, and this is DuPont Serona. And John, how are you? I'm good, Dave. Good to see you. It's a good show. There's a nice crowd of people in here, which, of course, you're a unique supplier here. And I suspect a good crowd in here is very, very good. Yeah, I think uh, traffic's good this year, and there's a lot of enthusiasm uh, in the industry, and it seems like there's a lot of... Uh, design activity out there, so I think that's a, a good sign for everyone. Now, talk about the DuPont Serona program, and we're all aware that Mohawk has an exclusive on the residential side, and there are several mills that are joining you on the commercial side. That's right, and our theme this year for Neocon is a perfect blend, so what we're highlighting here is how we think that uh, Serona provides a perfect blend of uh, performance, durability, uh, beauty, as well as sustainability. And what we're showing here in our booth is kind of the variety of, of products and different styles that are available from our partners really all over the world, uh, not just in North America. So we have some more traditional loop pile type of styles. We have some Axminster types of styles and different uh, printing techniques, uh, solution dyed fibers, uh, some uh, piece dyed carpets, printed carpets. We have some hand tufted products and some flat woven products. So really a wide variety to show the design flexibility. Just in case somebody's been on the moon for the last uh, several years, t talk about DuPont Serona, exactly what it is. Okay, so Serona is a renewably sourced material. So it's made in part from a, a plant-based material. So it's renewably sourced or bio-based. It happens to be 37% renewably sourced. So it requires less energy and produces fewer greenhouse gases than producing nylon. Uh, so that's the environmental benefits. And of course, because of it being bio-based or rapidly renewable, it qualifies for, for lead points as well. I know that's important for a lot of uh, these projects. And on the performance side, one of the you know, Serona's uh, key distinguishing features really is the stain resistance, the inherent stain resistance that you get where the stains you know, can't attach to the fibers. So you, you put that together with uh, the durability from the specially shaped fibers for the contract market. And uh, again, we, we feel that provides really the perfect blend for the, for the future of fiber and the future of, of contract carpets. Now on the list of things that specifiers and designers want, I suspect, the, the, the clean part, uh, the lack of the ability for dirt to adhere to the fibers has to be right at the top of their list. Yeah, cleanability is, is very important, keeping it clean. Uh, if you can reduce uh, cleaning cycles, that's, that's certainly helpful as well. So that's definitely something that uh, I think the designers, specifiers, as well as the end users are very interested in. Now, Mohawk, if I'm not mistaken, was one of the early mills to sign on. Obviously, they're very, very committed to it on the residential side. Talk about the sign-up after that. Okay, so we uh, also have uh, Clayton Miller, a, a licensee, and um, we're looking at working uh, more with them going forward on some Serona styles. Uh, we're showing here on the, the floor of our booth, we have some, some new styles from, from Mannington, actually, that they've uh, put into some... DuPont facilities recently. And then some of our international partners that we've uh, featured here, that I mentioned some of the different uh, techniques, but uh, Fletco uh, in Europe, and uh, so we have Shenhua and CTTCC from China, Extra Weave from India. It seems to me this is a natural. I mean, I guess floor coverings on the residential side are exposed to the same thing, perhaps not to the same degree to a lesser degree, really, than the commercial. It would seem like a natural for just about any commercial mill to me. Right, and that's, uh, that's why we call it a natural choice, really, for commercial carpet. I, I guess I'm surprised that there aren't more people si signing up. Well, you know, it is, a, I think, something that each mill has to incorporate into their uh, particular system. So and there are different backing styles and different constructions, so... 
I think one of the uh, challenges of the new fiber system is it doesn't necessarily drop in to the existing uh, incumbent carpet system, and the whole system has to work. So there is some uh, product development on the carpet side that, that has to go into uh, bringing these new styles to market. Okay. So I guess even when they want to do it, it takes some time to get to a finished product, I suppose, and what tweaking uh, machinery and you know, various parts of the manufacturing process. Yeah, different elements of the, the carpet construction or the backing system. And uh, so it is, it is manufacturing complexity when you're uh, trying to incorporate it in with some incumbent systems. So it does take some time. So when you got into this process, you realized that it wasn't going to be something you're going to snap your fingers and everybody's going to be, uh, you know, making carpet with Cerrone. That's right. Yeah, we, we understood that it would take some time for, for each adoption. What are your expectations going, going forward? We think there's a lot of potential. We think there's definitely a future for uh, bio-based fibers um, in commercial carpet as well as in residential carpet. And we really see that opportunity globally when we you know, tell the Serona story and really the larger story about how DuPont is, is trying to take on the, the challenges, the big challenges that arise, arise from global uh, population growth. You know, we're at, seven billion people now on this planet and we'll be at nine billion by 2050 and that creates some um, challenges in, in feeding the world and uh, reducing dependency on fossil fuels and, and, and protecting uh, people in the environment and uh, you know it, it's a balancing act so we think it's it's important to um, diversify the feedstocks that that we use uh, for, for carpet as well as for other products and uh, we, we think Serona is, is really one of the first products that that really gets at that. So we, th we definitely think there's a, a big future for it. Well, I would suspect that just the bio-based aspect of it would have a pull-through at the, at the mill level, because I'm sure most of the designers in here uh, would respond favorably to something like that. They do. They respond very favorably to that. It's something that they, they feel is uh, the right thing to do. Sometimes it requires some education, because they may not be as familiar with bio-based materials as they are with some other, you know, green, for lack of a better word, uh, offerings. What about, uh, what about recyclability? Um, we just went to the CARE uh, conference, just talked about the CARE conference a little while ago, the Carpet Amero recovery effort um, with their uh, recycling and reuse projects. How does Serona fit, fit into that picture? Yeah, and that, that's the, the end of life of these carpets is an important thing to consider when, when considering sustainability. So that's something we have in mind. At some point, these carpets will be coming out. And uh, one of the things we're actually showing in the booth here is uh, the, the recycling story with Serona. Because Serona, basically, the material is a thermoplastic, so you can melt and reform it. Uh, we've done demonstrations where you can take that uh, back into fiber so you can recycle it uh, back <clears throat> Excuse me, with virgin uh, Serona polymer to, to make new fiber. You can recycle it into backing. Um, it's been used uh, in some of the uh, carpet pads out there that are made from, from recycled carpet. So there are uh, outlets and you know we're looking forward to working with uh, you know care and the industry in general on uh, making sure that there are outlets for, for Serona carpet when it starts uh, coming out and becomes a waste stream. Well it's, it's a compelling story and you're doing some good work and good, good luck to you John. Okay thanks Steve. It's, it's, it's real good talking to you. We've been talking with John Lyon. We are in the DuPont stand. We're talking about DuPont Serona at Neocon 2013. And this is Talk Floor TV.